What's up gamers, Red Dragon here. The other day I posted a question on Facebook asking my viewers what was their most disappointing game so far this next gen and what is their favorite game so far this next gen. Had a lot of replies so throughout this video I'm going to be showing you some of their replies and if you want to jump in on future videos that I do like this and you want to be part of the videos be sure to follow those links down below to the Facebook and Twitter page. So, as far as me personally goes, my most disappointing game and favorite, I had a few that were close uh, as far as the most disappointing games go. Uh, a few people said Rise, Son of Rome as their most disappointing game. I really wasn't as expecting a whole lot with that game, so it actually exceeded my expectations because I enjoyed it because I was expecting dog crap, you know, whenever I sat down to start playing that. And to me, it actually wasn't too bad. Titanfall, on the other hand, Titanfall is, is really strange because I still like to jump on and play multiplayer. I think it's fun to just pull up. I don't have to feel like I have to play with a team. I can just jump on, you know, game out and then turn it off and that's it. And I've got my fix for it. It's not a game, though, that I feel like, oh, God, I can't wait to go play that game. You know, it, it's it's it doesn't hold my attention. And I don't think it holds very many people's attention for very long. And it's, it doesn't have a system where you feel like you need to keep playing in order to rank up, in order to get new things or unlocks or anything of that nature. And I think Titanfall was definitely a game where it needed a single player. And it's kind of strange because I've said in the past, you know, I personally don't mind multiplayer only games. I've said that I wouldn't shed a tear if Battlefield came out and they said we're going to just release a multiplayer only game. You know, if you put in more maps, you put in everything that needs to be in there and you make it bug free, I would be okay with that. I think Battlefield is a game that could rely solely on multiplayer, but for Titanfall, it definitely needed something other than what was provided. And a few people uh, mentioned that. They said it was their most disappointing game, and some said it was their favorite game as well. But for me, the most disappointing game has to be Battlefield. Uh, because if you've been following this channel for a long time, you know that I've done a ton of Battlefield videos in the past, from Bad Company 2 and Vietnam, and I mean, I've, I've done a lot of stuff on it, uh, whether it's tutorials or commentaries, whatever. And Battlefield 4 has probably been the Battlefield that you've seen the least of on my channel. And that's just because I was so freaking disappointed with it whenever it came out. I mean, for six months... I mean, people called it Beta Field 4, people called it Bug Field 4. It was just a broken game. And it was a shame that it took them six to seven months to finally get it up and running correctly. And devs, they can't be pulling this shit because people will fall out and people will stop buying their games in the future. I don't think Battlefield is dead. I think a lot of people will still go out and buy the next version of Battlefield. But I know a lot of people aren't. I know a lot of people are, have said, that's enough. I'm not going to go through that again because they feel like they wasted money early on with this particular game. And honestly, I don't blame them. I was reading a story about Ubisoft and The Division, and of course The Division looks like an awesome game. It's uh, not going to be coming out till at least 2015, if it even comes out in that year. Uh, but one of the things that the devs was saying was that they did not want The Division to be a battlefield. Meaning they did not want to release a game that was going to be hammered because of little bugs and glitches. And you should not be releasing a game and relying on patches in order to finally complete it, you know? So for me, Battlefield, my most disappointing game. And so for me, that's why you haven't seen a whole lot of Battlefield coverage because I have been so disappointed with the launch of the game. Having said that... There's no other game on the next gen that I've put more time into besides Battlefield 4. And even though it's my most disappointing game, it's still my favorite game as well. And they are finally, it seems, finally getting this to where it feels like a complete game. 
I jumped on and played a few rounds the other day, and by the time I got off, I was actually wanting to continue to play. I mean, the hitboxes were all running smooth, uh, no rubber banding issues. Um, everything was doing great. I feel like they've added some, some cool elements. I think Obliteration is my favorite game mode of any Battlefield I've ever played. Uh, I love that game mode because you always know where the action is. You want to see action, just go wherever the bomb is, and I love that. I love being able to know where, uh, where everything's happening. And I know it's kind of strange, but Battlefield is actually my most disappointing and my most favorite game this next gen. So, anyway, it is what it is. Post below, I want to know what is your most disappointing game this next gen and what is your favorite. Again, if you want to be part of future videos, be sure you like the Facebook page and join up on Twitter and Google+. Those links down below. That does for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.